Hi friends, welcome back to Love Medics. Heart. It receives the blood from the body and it pumps the blood to all parts of the body. It is the function of the heart. Let's imagine you drive a car. Suddenly you reach a four-way junction. Now you are in a terrible condition. What is that? Traffic. Traffic, right? Yes. What is the remedy for traffic? Bridge. It is the solution for the traffic. Some vehicles are traveling this way and some vehicles are traveling this way, right? Likewise, our heart also carry a lot of materials like hormones, nutrition, blood cells and the blood that circulate in four chambers of heart, valves of heart, vessels of the heart reaches the lung and all parts of the body, right? Is there any traffic, any bridges are there in our heart? Yes or no? Of course, yes. That is pulmonary trunk and iota. These two blood vessels give them bridge-like appearance. Okay. In this video, I am going to explain about the human blood circulation. That is blood circulation through the heart. Human heart. Human heart is the hollow muscular organ. It pumps the blood to various parts of the body to meet the nutrition requirement. Now, the blood circulation through the heart. First, the blood from all parts of the body carry by blood vessels and it reaches the right atrium. Okay. Body to right atrium. The deoxygenated blood from the body that drain into the right atrium with the help of three blood vessels. What are the vessels? They are superior vena cava, inferior vena cava and coronary sinus. Superior vena cava that carries the deoxygenated blood from upper half of the body and inferior vena cava that carries the deoxygenated blood from lower half of the body and the coronary sinus drains the deoxygenated blood from the heart. Okay. Now, the blood from superior vena cava, inferior vena cava and the coronary sinus, now they are reaches the right atrium. From the right atrium, the blood passes to right ventricle through tricuspid valve. Okay. Now, the right ventricle carry the deoxygenated blood. Then the blood should passes from heart to lung, right? So, from the heart, the blood reaches the lung via pulmonary trunk through the pulmonary valve. When the right ventricle contract, the blood passes from right ventricle to blood vessel. Now you have one doubt. Is there any movement of blood from right ventricle to right atrium? No. Why? Because when the right ventricle contract, the tricuspid valve will be closed. Now the pulmonary valve will be opened. Via the pulmonary trunk, the blood will reach the lung. Okay. In lung, deoxygenated blood that carries the carbon dioxide. So, the deoxygenated blood exchange its load of carbon dioxide to oxygen from the alveoli. These are the blood vessels. See here, the minute blood vessels that surround the alveoli. Here, oxygen and carbon dioxide are exchanged. Now, the blood vessel carry the oxygen and the alveoli carry the carbon dioxide. So, the deoxygenated blood will be converted into oxygenated blood. Now, lung to the left atrium. The oxygenated blood from the lung that returns to the heart via the pulmonary veins. These are the pulmonary veins 1, 2, 3 and 4. These four pulmonary veins are drained into the left atrium. Now, the left atrium carries the oxygenated blood. Now, the oxygenated blood passes from left atrium to left ventricle through the bicuspid valve. This is the left atrium. When the left atrium contract, the bicuspid valve will be opened. This one is the bicuspid valve and oxygenated blood passes from left atrium to right ventricle. Here, blood in the left ventricle. When the left ventricle contract, the bicuspid valve will be closed and the aortic valve will be opened. So, the blood passes from left ventricle to aorta. This one is the aorta. 
now the blood vessel carries the oxygenated blood and deliver to all parts of the body again the deoxygenated blood carry from all parts of the body and drain into the right atrium by superior vena cava inferior vena cava and coronary sinus this is the blood circulation through heart look here this is the chambers wise pathway the blood passes from right atrium to right ventricle and then lung from lung to left atrium from left atrium to left ventricle and all parts of the body this is chambers wise we look the pathway look at here this is inferior vena cava this one is superior vena cava the blood from superior vena cava and inferior vena cava passes into the right atrium when the right atrium contract the tricuspid valve will be open and then the blood passes into the right ventricle and that blood passes to the pulmonary trunk via the pulmonary valves and this blood passes to the lungs and then the deoxygenated blood converted into oxygenated blood in lung then the oxygenated blood return to the heart by pulmonary veins and then it reaches the left atrium when the left atrium contracts the bicuspid valve will be opened and then the blood passes from left atrium to left ventricle when the left ventricle contracts the blood passes from left ventricle to aorta by aortic valve and then deliver to all parts of the body overview heart is the hollow muscular organ it pumps the blood to various parts of the body to meet the nutrition requirement now the blood circulation is from superior vena cava inferior vena cava coronary sinus to right atrium from right atrium the blood passes to the right ventricle by tricuspid valve and then it reaches the pulmonary artery by a pulmonary valves and then the blood reaches the lungs and then the deoxygenated blood converted into oxygenated blood in lung and that blood passes to the left atrium via pulmonary veins and then the blood passes to the left ventricle through bicuspid valves and then the blood passes from left ventricle to aorta by aortic valve and the oxygenated blood passes aorta to all parts of the body question time in lung the dash blood converted into dash blood oxygenated blood converted into deoxygenated blood or deoxygenated blood converted into oxygenated blood deoxygenated blood converted into oxygenated blood blood carry from top of the body by inferior vena cava or superior vena cava superior vena cava oxygenated blood from the lung is received by right atrium or left atrium left atrium oxygenated blood from the left ventricle is supplied to all parts of the body by aorta or pulmonary artery aorta thanks for watching